Welcome back to another video for HarborFinancialOnline.com. Today I'm going to be talking about medical expenses and how to get a deduction for any medical expenses you had during the during the year. So let me get the video going here. If you would like to deduct medical expenses from your tax return, you will not be able to take the standard deduction. So you'll have to itemize your deductions. So just remember that if you've always done the standard deduction you can no longer use that if you want to report your medical expenses so if in this year you had a huge amount of medical expenses you really should consider itemizing your deductions if it's going to get you a bigger write-off than just doing the standardized deduction the only way well, we already covered that area the next you can follow me as I go through these powerpoints you can follow my pointer here and I'm going to be covering these areas and then expanding on each statement. So you may be able to claim medical expenses including dental for yourself, your spouse, and your dependents. Make sure that you keep good records of these expenses because that's your only proof. So any receipts you have, any medical statements from that doctor, dentist, Make sure you keep those organized in a good spot that if you had to supply them, you could. At our site, harborfinancialonline.com, you can put in these medical expenses on our online calculator, and it's going to show you how it's going to affect your refund and the increase it will have on your refund. A medical tax deduction is only allowed for expenses paid for the prevention or alleviation of a physical or mental defect or illness. That's the proper definition of a medical tax deduction. Medical care expense expenses include payments for the diagnosis, care, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of disease, or treatment affecting any structure or function of the body. Again, these are just definitions according to the code that you have to follow in, or, in order to qualify for this deduction. Prevention does not include items such as vitamins that are just beneficial to your overall overall health. They will not qualify. If you can prove that you have to have these vitamins to survive, if it's a medical necessity, then it will be deductible. But if it's just to provide an overall benefit to your health, like most people, you can't report these amounts. Qualifying medical expenses do include things such as annual physicals, full body electrics, electronic scams, and pregnancy test kits. A lot of people don't realize that some of these areas are deductible, such as the last one. So again, keep your record so you can show this. Um, if you're employed, most of this is going to be covered through your insurance plan but the amounts that aren't you can report those amounts so if you have a deductible amount that you have to meet and you're paying out of pocket then you can report that you can also deduct 20 cents per mile for medical travel this is not just to get to the clinic or just to get to the hospital it's there and back and people 90% of the time forget this and don't track it so you get 20 cents per mile that that can add up because it's the exact same deduction as these you just get 20 cents per mile that you no longer now have to pay tax on that income so it can add up to a good amount if you're traveling across country to see a doctor this won't qualify if you're flying this is just for driving and that'll be reported on schedule a it'll be Form 2106. There are also increased deductions for public safety officers. So if you have medical expenses and you're a qualified medical safety officer, you should look into that further because you're going to have an increased deduction that you will qualify for. Also, amounts paid for qualified long term care services and amounts paid for any qualified long-term care insurance contracts are deductible up to a certain amount so again long-term care services 
and qualified long-term care insurance. Those tend to be high amounts. So make sure if you're helping someone prepare a return that's elderly, make sure you're getting those records and get, getting that into their tax return. Because again, a lot of people forget to report these medical expenses. It's just not something that people talk about a lot. So most people aren't aware of the deduction for medical expenses, especially long-term care insurance. You'll report all medical expenses on Schedule A, and this is attached to your 1040 tax return. Remember that you must itemize your deductions to get this write-off. So to get the medical deduction, you have to itemize. Now, at our site, harborfinancialonline.com, you can use our online calculator to put in your medical deductions and see how it's going to affect your refund. Like I said, you have to itemize to get the refund. So if you're doing the standard deduction, what you want to do, if you're trying to decide which way to go, use this calculator, itemize, put in the medical deduction, see what your refund's going to be. Then take that, re, you'll redo it on the calculator with a standard deduction without a medical expense and see which way you come out ahead. Most likely, if you have a lot of medical expenses, you could come out ahead itemizing. So tr you can try both ways with this calculator. So I, I highly recommend that. You can see here on the left, we have links to all other areas of credits and deductions that you may want to check out. These are all individual pages that should be able to help you. Let me show you, for example. This, this page is for homeowners, tax deductions for homeowners. Go back. And the earned income credit, very popular way to save money. This is a credit, so it's not a deduction. You get a bigger tax savings with a credit. So that's just an example. You can prepare the return directly online here or just use our free online calculator. I appreciate you watching the video. I hope you check out my other videos on YouTube. We have lots of them out there. We're always updating videos to keep you guys aware of the new changes and new tax laws and all the credits and deductions you can get out there. So thank you and uh, hopefully you watch the future videos. Mm -hmm.